Are you battling with feelings of insecurity, fear, and anxiety? Are you unable to sleep at night because you don't know what will happen the next minute you close your eyes? Or do you feel all alone as you go through hard moments? Do you know that if you continue like this, you're gonna have a huge breakdown, which is what God wants to protect you from? If only you allow Him, He will do everything to protect you from breakdown. While your feelings are valid, they are far from the reality of what is happening to you as a child of God. You see, God loves you so much that He has put everything in place to ensure your protection. He is working to ensure that you are saved from every evil that the enemy might want to send your way. In this video, we will explore how God ensures your protection in every situation. Before we continue, kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Thank you. Let's continue. God is always working to ensure you are safe and secure from every harm, especially if you are his child. He already said it in his word in Psalm 91, 11, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, meaning that wherever you find yourself, wherever you go, at every point in your life, you have God's protection over you in the day, at night, while you're awake, while you're sleeping, you have no reason to panic. God is working and protecting you, ensuring that no evil comes near you and no harm happens to you. So, what you're supposed to do with respect to this is to be confident in his ability to keep you safe. And you should not allow the roaring of the enemy to get you to start panicking because, truly, the enemy can only roar as long as you're with God, they cannot harm you. The Bible says, the devil walks about as a roaring lion seeking who to devour. That's his duty, but you are off limits for him. He can't devour you. When God exposes a person trying to hurt or harm you or a fake person in your life, it might be hard for you to bear. And at that moment, you might feel the hurt deep in the core of your being. You might even go to the extent of saying, God, why me? Why didn't you protect me from this person? Why did you make me trust them so much before I see their true colors? Well, all that is your humanity speaking. In reality, God has just saved you from a huge future disaster by letting you know that such a person should not be in your life. Sometimes, things might play out differently. You might expect yourself to feel truly betrayed and unable to bear it, but in that moment, you find yourself not taking the matter too seriously. Yes, you felt pained by the betrayal, and you would have wished they were loyal to you, just as you are to them but you still aren't weighed down by the betrayal. It's like your heart had a cover around it, and the hurt couldn't penetrate too deep. That's God's way of protecting you from a huge breakdown. Prior to the exposure of the betrayal, God might have been taking you through a series of scriptures that speak about His unwavering love for you. You might find your devotional time filled with God giving you promises to assure you that He won't fail you even when men do. You might also have your heart solely depending on God in that season, and everything in you just seeks God as the ultimate. Then, boom. The betrayal happened, and you could escape that season without it destroying you. Another instance might be that you just have the strong urge to save, and then God starts bringing instances, avenues, and opportunities your way for you to save. You might just be obeying Him only for a while, and then you suddenly lose your job or your business becomes slow. If you hadn't saved. Beforehand, things would have been more difficult. But because you have saved beforehand, you have enough money to fall back on, and the effects of that situation don't get to you so bad. That is God's way of protecting you from a huge breakdown. You see, God works in diverse ways and you cannot really box him into one way or method of doing things because you might have thought his protection would save you from losing your job or something precious to you, but he has a better plan for you. Whenever you're going through anything, never forget what the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. You should know that everything happening to you Every situation you're going through, 
Every experience you have, is because there is a good that can come out of it. If no good would come out of it, God wouldn't have allowed it. God is right there in your business, so you shouldn't feel all alone, abandoned, forsaken. Even in difficult times, you're not abandoned, you're not forsaken. The Bible says in Isaiah 41, 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is with you. His mighty arms are around you. His protection is upon you. His preservation is upon you. He will not sit under his watch and allow harm to come to you. Everything he allows is for purpose, and that purpose is for your good. Psalm 121 says that God will preserve you from evil. He not only says that he will preserve you from evil alone, but he is so concerned about you, that he will not slumber or sleep just to ensure that you are safe. This revelation should make you so happy that you go to bed, put the covers on, and you sleep. If he is protecting you by not sleeping or slumbering, and you're also not sleeping because you're allowing the situation to take away your sleep, then you are not doing yourself any favors. Elijah had an experience with despair in the Bible. After a major conquest of the prophets of Baal, he could not withstand the horn of the queen, so he ran away. However, he didn't just run away out of fear, he was also getting to the point of emotional breakdown. He got so emotionally down to the point that he told God to kill him. In the midst of that situation, God sent his angel to bring him food and water to strengthen him physically, emotionally, and spiritually. He was able to go on the strength of that food and receive the courage to continue his ministry. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The fact that he did it for Elijah is a sign for you to know he can do it for you as well. What are you going through? What is the situation that is getting you down? You probably had the notion that you would be a great person, but with the way things are going in your life right now, you doubt if that will ever be possible, and you feel frustrated. And the frustration is already giving room to depression. Beloved, you are not alone in that room. God is with you. Can you remember Joseph? While his brothers fought and plotted evil against him, God's protection remained with him. While he was unjustly thrown into prison, God didn't leave him. God kept working everything out for his good. His presence and love surround you, reassuring you that he is not finished with you. He still has a plan for you, a plan to prosper you, to give you hope and a future, and he is ready to protect you from major breakdowns that may hinder his plan for you. God knows the end from the beginning. He understands the outcome of every decision you make in your life. That's why most times, He prompts you to make decisions that will prepare you for what lies ahead, so that when challenges arise, you have enough strength to bear them. What God allows today is to shield you from a significant breakdown in the future. You might not see it today, but eventually, when you look back, you will be able to see what God did for you and your mouth will be filled with praises to God. God's protection isn't limited to the physical. It encompasses your soul, mind, health, finances, and everything else that has the potential to disrupt your life. It might be that you introduced someone to a business, and suddenly, they are working against you, attempting to sabotage your business. That's me. Betrayal many people would not be able to stomach. But God's way of protecting you might involve exposing the plans and evil intentions to you so you can take caution and safeguard your business secrets. While you may not always be aware, the devil is on a quest to lead as many people as possible to deny God, lose their faith, and stop trusting him. Everything he does is aimed at destroying people and creating discord between humanity and God. You can see parallels between what happened in the Garden of Eden and the subtle craftiness he employs today. Often, his tactics go unnoticed by humans, who may fail to recognize or take heed of what is happening until they fall into his trap. Jesus said to Peter, The devil seeks to have you, that he might sift you as wheat. 
but I have prayed for you that your strength fail not. Yes, Jesus is still at this duty post today, praying for you so that the plans of the enemy will not come to pass over your life. So that the enemy's attempts to undermine your faith and lead you astray will have no effect on you. Beloved, Jesus is at the right hand of God, interceding for you so that your strength will not fail. So that when you face difficult situations in life, they will not overwhelm you. What a loving father. You should rejoice at that. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Now you know why God watches over your soul, protecting you from the schemes of the enemy designed to destroy you. When faced with numerous temptations and wondering why God allows them, remember that God is protecting you. The trials he permits are to strengthen you, for the trials prevented are far more numerous than those you experience. If he were to expose you to everything the devil is doing against you, no one would be able to withstand it. Therefore, his love and mercy continuously shield you from things that could adversely affect your soul. While God is orchestrating all these safeguards to shield you from major breakdowns, it's essential to understand that your response to these situations is crucial. Yes, you have a part to play. The first is to trust God and abide in his shelter. Psalm 91 says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. It is when you dwell in his shelter that you can enjoy his protection. This shelter is talking about trusting his promises and relying solely on his saving arms to see you through every situation in life. As simple as this sounds, many people struggle with it. Even the disciples, when Jesus was here on earth with them physically, they struggled with fear. There are situations that shook them and even made them doubt God's love. Those situations will also happen in your life. Your duty is to make sure that they don't make you to start doubting God's life for you. Even in life-threatening situations, God's protection is certain. The experience of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego makes this clear. Fear may grip you when you're unsure of God's promises of protection or when your heart hasn't fully embraced the certainty of His word. Don't give place to fear. Always remember that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power, love, and a sound mind. In moments of uncertainty, God will guide you through the power of His light. When you find yourself at a crossroads, unsure of what to do, confused, or torn between different options, God is right there by your side. He is ready to provide the guidance and instructions you need to navigate towards the right destination. That's why the Bible advises you to trust in the Lord with all your hearts and not rely solely on your own understanding. As long as you continue faithfully working with God, obeying His will and making Him the Lord of every aspect of your life, you will undoubtedly see His hand leading you even in the darkest of nights. The psalmist's confidence in God is profoundly evident in his declaration, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He understands that even amidst challenging times, God's presence and protection remain unwavering. This assurance stems from his deep trust in God's constant care and provision, knowing that God's protection will shield him from harm, both in the presence and absence of evil. Using the analogy of a soldier's shield, the psalmist acknowledges God as a shield and butler guarding his heart from the enemy's attacks. Just as a shield protects the soldier's vital organs from arrows, God tirelessly safeguards the psalmist's heart, ensuring its safety from the enemy's onslaught. You know everything David had to go through. Right from having to live in the wilderness caring for his father's animals to facing a lion and a bear and eventually confronting the giant, Goliath. God's protection remained with him. In all the battles he fought with the Philistines, he ran helter-skelter because of Saul. God did leave him for a second. He is doing the same for you today. 
Psalm 91 provides insight into how God accomplishes this. Therefore, when God tells you not to be afraid, it's not merely empty encouragement. It's a call to trust Him amidst life's storms because He is right there with you. He invites you to lean on His strength, assuring you that the storms will not overwhelm you. Regardless of what you're currently facing, know that you are not alone in the fire. God is there, protecting you and ensuring the flames do not consume you. As long as He is with you in the storm, it cannot consume you. You might be grappling with financial challenges, feeling like everything is on the brink of falling apart, or facing relationship difficulties with uncertainty about the future. Perhaps you're battling infertility or striving to conceive a child. Whatever your situation, God is present to ensure the storm doesn't swallow you. When it feels overwhelming, remember that His strength and grace are sufficient to carry you through. Hold on to His promises and don't allow doubt and fear to overpower you. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for your constant protection over my life. I am grateful that your protection surrounds me wherever I go, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, whether I am awake or asleep. I pray that you remove every fear and anxiety the enemy has projected into my spirit, causing doubt about your presence in my life. Help me to know that you are with me even in the darkest moments and that you care for me even when things seem to be going awry. Teach me to always remember that everything you allow in my life is because of your love for me and because you have given me the strength to endure and grow from those experiences. Grant me the courage and strength to face whatever challenges life throws my way, including betrayal, trials, opposition, and lack. Lord. I lift up those who are experiencing severe emotional, physical, or psychological breakdowns, causing them to teeter on the edge of losing their faith. Strengthen and encourage them, Lord, and give them the grace to overcome their struggles. You are all-powerful and mighty to save. Your arm is never too short to rescue me from any situation I face. Even in the midst of hardship, I trust that you will save and keep me in the hollow of your hands. I surrender myself to you, Lord, knowing my protection lies in you alone. I choose to stay secure under your mighty hand and to be covered by your love. Father, whenever doubt, fear, and anxiety threaten to overwhelm me, help me to remember your promises. Bring to my mind the assurance of your protection and preservation found in your word and let the power of your promises strengthen my faith and confidence in you. Thank you, Father, for I know you have heard and answered, for I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If this message has touched your heart, kindly hit the like button. For more spirit-filled messages, remember to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. God bless you.